Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, check it out today. We got a special treat for you guys. We're hanging out with Jake Meisner. What's going on? And we're gonna be talking about his HTX plow. Let's check it out. All right, so Jake and I actually became buds on Instagram. We've been texting back and forth for probably the last six or so months. I'd say so. Uh, you're over in White Lake, Michigan, which is about 30 minutes north, uh, and then he also has a place about 10 minutes south of me, but basically uh, just another good bud, another guy that watches the channel. But here's the deal, he has the Boss HTX Plow mm -hmm. that you just picked up like a month ago. Correct. All right, so walk these guys through. This is just another option, by the sure. way. Um, you guys know I got the big Boss DXT, but you got a half ton and you wanted to get into snow plowing. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give these guys a walk around? By the way, I asked Jake if I could shoot this on the cam uh, on the channel. You said, yeah, sure, why not? I felt kind of famous, not gonna lie. <laughs> you said you wanted to be famous. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go buy him B-dubs as well. So uh, that's that's my meal ticket is food, right? So, um, all right, so why don't you give these guys sure. a walk around with the plow, what your thought process was, Absolutely. and let's just do a little walkthrough. Sure. So basically, I have been cutting grass, cutting lawns for about eight or nine years, got done with college, and I said, you know what? Let's take this year round. So I had a Hummer H3, I bought okay. a Ford F-150, Yep. and so I was like, okay, you know, maybe it wasn't the smartest decision, but I couldn't find a 250 for the price range that I needed for my small business. So I settled with the F-150, and then I did my research on the Boss HTX. Okay. It's a 7.6 stainless, it's 440 pounds, that's just the plow, and then the harness itself adds another 40 to 50 pounds. Cool. So that was within range that my Ford F-150 Lariat could handle. Is this the 5.4 or the 4.6? 5.4. 5.4 V8. 5.4 V8, yep. All right. Um, so went up to Weingarts, told the guys what I needed, and if you're not going to Weingarts, I don't know where else you should go, because these guys know their stuff. Weingarts, <laughs> Weingarts. <laughs> Everybody so knows it the song. Just, it was a great install. I had a free install because I had purchased this plow at a time where they install stuff for free. So that was great. It saved about thousand dollars right I was there. Say, easy for five hundred. Yeah, exactly. Sure. So the lights are great. There are the SL threes. They're LEDs, so they're not going to you know frost over or anything like that. Yep. Chainless lift. Hydraulics are all enclosed. I really like that just because it protects your machine and you know when you're running machinery You need it to be running non-stop. Now, let me ask you this. Sure. Um, what's your business? Are you gonna be plowing snow by where you live residential commercial? Yep. What was your applications? What were you thinking? So I'm all residential yep. and I have Basically 25 clients lined up already out of the 60 that I take care of for lawn maintenance So okay. that's a pretty good start for that's the year. Good, absolutely. So um, I knew doing small areas that I'm not gonna need a great big plow like you guys have. Sure. So for me, that was why I went with that, and I'm gonna be servicing the Troy and Rochester Hills area. Okay. That is where most of my clientele is. That's about 30 minutes east of us. Correct. Okay, cool. Exactly. Gotcha. Yep. Well, that's awesome, man. So this uh, this guy right here, the half ton, you know, that's the thing too is that, so you guys saw Alex Leica uh, and I did a video about probably same time last year uh, in that parking lot comparing my rig and setup and his rig and setup. In fact, I'll leave a card right here and then also at the end of the video so you guys can check that out. Uh, really good video. We went into depth about the different setups for 20 minutes. But one of the bigger markets that's opening up for plows is the half ton market, right? Hey. Every Everybody and their brothers got a Chevy Silverado 1500 or a Ford F-150. Now, if you're plowing big parking lots, kind of like this mall here, or you're doing your, your discount tires and all your strip malls, eventually, yes, you want to get a Boss VXT, a, a Boss DXT. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, you know, the Westerns, the Fishers, the Salt Dogs, whatever, you know, the buyers, that's yep. all good too. But the half ton market, uh, you can put the, by the way, it's like 10 degrees out right now. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> uh, we're freezing cold, shaking. But the, the half ton market's huge too because if you're doing residential driveways or your own uh, property, uh, you got a long driveway, you mm -hmm. know, and you're out in the sticks and the boonies, um, there's nothing wrong with hooking up a half ton plow, an HTX boss plow, for example, to uh, a Chevy Tahoe, a Suburban, a, tra uh, a Trailblazer, yep. uh, an old Jeep. Yeah. Right? And you got an F 150 and you said, hey, I want to make this asset make money for me year exactly. round. I mean that's just that's a no-brainer. So um, let's uh, you want to jump inside and sure. let's, let's do Absolutely. the little, let's do the shimmy up, down, left, right, right. By the way, if you guys have any questions, I know Jake watches the channel. Uh, leave them in the comment section. We'll try to answer them the best we can.
Dude, that's awesome. Look at that. Sweet. All right, so one thing I had a question on, Jake, let me ask you this. Was there a, uh, a steel version, like the red version? Yes. Is this a stainless? They have, this is the stainless. They okay. had uh, stainless, and they had a seven for all different three. So they had a poly, stainless, and steel. Okay. I'm not sure, they had stainless steel, and then... Uh, the steel. Yeah, the steel. The red steel. Yep. So you want the stainless? Yep. What'd you, what made you want to go with the stainless? So, I just like the look of it, the but then the guy who, the salesman, he recommended this one because yeah. of the way that the snow just throws off better than with the steel, is yep. what he had told me. That's so I fair. went with that. Okay. Um, and I'm glad we're doing this video to begin with because I was doing research on this. I didn't know much about Not the half lot. ton plows. Right. And so from videos, I had learned that, you know what, if you're just starting out and you're doing driveways, you're just, good. all you need is a half ton truck. So I'm like, okay, that's great, but sure. I don't know that much information. Sure. So combed through YouTube, found a couple videos, not so many, and then did a little bit of reading on some forums and whatnot. What were some helpful resources for you? Boss Plow, uh, Boss's website. Absolutely. Has a selector. Yep. That probably helped you out. And then really going into Weingarts and spending close to an hour and a half to two hours with the salesman learning all about the different things this has to offer for residential plowing. Right, by the way, anytime we sell a plow or a lawnmower up there and use our promo code, no, we don't <laughs> We don't have a promo code for Brian Stead. I know, I wish we did, because man, we would sell lawnmowers all across the country for all of us. No, I'm not sponsored by Wine Guards. They're just really good people. Like yep. like Jake was saying, if you're in the area of uh, uh, Metro Detroit, Michigan, it's just like, honestly, like the largest dealer, I think in like the Midwest. Mm -hmm. So everybody kind of goes there. Um, you pay a fair price, it's not the cheapest place, but at the end of the day, they just have great service. Exactly, you pay for what you get, you know? Uh, 100%, yep. so great salespeople and even better service department, uh, in my opinion, because we got to keep things moving Absolutely. after we get them. So, yeah. um, cool, man. So, what are you excited about this upcoming season? I'm stressed, yeah. but very excited. First year plowing snow? First year. What? Yeah. No kid, dude. Yep. We'll, uh, First year. Maybe if we get all of our stuff, then we'll have to come bother you and jump in the truck. Please, feel free. We'll, we'll put you on camera, right? All right, sounds good. <laughs> so, you get to practice in a you know, $30,000, $40,000 setup, yep. right? I, Trust me, I, I practiced in my $65,000 setup, which I told many people, don't do that. But um, actually funny, I uh, I've did a top 10 newbies or rookies video. I'll leave a card for that at the end as well because that's another funny one. Top 10 tips I told you guys for uh, plowing if you're a rookie or a newbie like me to look out for. So that was, I wish people that made- That was helpful. I've watched that four or five times. Uh, seriously, I wish, I did yeah. two versions actually. Um, 10 tips and then additional 10 tips. So if you're getting into plowing, you got to be serious with it. It's big boy club. Um, if you don't mind me asking, sure. we actually didn't even, we don't, we have any, no script here, but what's the sticker on this plow? Do you mind? So the sticker on this, I believe is right around 5,200. 52. That's not bad at all. No, it's not bad. Quite honestly, I thought it'd be a little bit more. That's what I, I had budgeted more. I thought like six. Yeah. I figured between six and 6,500. I got a couple deals, you know, like for instance, the deflector, I got that at a discounted rate and everything like that. Sure. But when he rang everything up, up, and then you know the install was free. Yeah, that was the game changer. Fifty two hundred out the door. Mm -hmm. Fifty, honestly, like that's a super good price. Mine was seventy five hundred out the door. I think I had a free install as well because yep. they do the specials. But that's not bad at all. Definitely a cool setup. I'm really digging it. So Brian, you want to check out the light real quick that I got? You got a light bar? Yeah, sure do. Let's do it, dude. So this is the X Bright light Look bar. Look at this, Jake's long hair. Yeah. Your number's on the internet now. <laughs> Don't text um, him, please. Yeah, seriously. My girlfriend would not like that. All right, so what do we got here? So this is the X-Brite LED light bar. I believe it is the 12-inch. 12 12-inch 12 Magnetic. Okay. Oh, you got the magnetic roof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's aluminum. You're aluminum. I had to get the you bracket. Have, yeah. Yeah. It's, things you don't it's think a about. little messy. Sorry, I got the gym bag and everything. Oh, uh, that's life of a, of a landscaper, right? Oh, look at that. It's got, got the got amber white. different patterns. Now, where'd you get this? Amazon or Amazon? Yep, and it was like, gosh, it was a steal. It was like thirty-five dollars, thirty, forty like bucks. And I was like, I was That's kinda, all you need. I was kind of scared by the price, just because I was like, you know what? You the get sometimes ones. what you pay for. Sure. But it had such great ratings on Amazon that I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot, and yeah. if it doesn't work out, I'm out thirty bucks. Uh, did you hardwire it or just cigarette lighter? Yep, cigarette lighter. Yep, yep, for sure. And up here. Yeah, the one I have was like uh, under two hundred bucks. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit probably more visibility. Sure, but that's that's all you really need. Yeah, for residential. Yeah. yeah, you should be fine. That's cool. Hey, dude, I gotta say, for real, good setup. Appreciate it. That's Thanks, what it's Brian. all about. I can't wait to see some uh, of this in, uh, in action. Can't wait. Instagram, let's do a quick plug. What's your yep. Instagram? Meisner23 is my personal account, and my other account is Jake's Lawn Care. All right, cool deal. And I want to plug something in too. Um, I was very skeptical about the, uh, the half-ton plows, 
this thing looks solid. Like now yep. I'm kind of like, man, I should have bought a half ton plow for my truck, so I got a plow this year. But <laughs> That's fair. my truck's lifted, so I don't think that would really work. You can you can raise it up. There's a bracket for Is it, it, but okay. I don't know. I mean, you're gonna buy a new truck right. anyway. Guys, I was even skeptical when I was going through the process of purchasing this plow, and yeah. once it was hooked up, man, I've got all the confidence it's in the sweet. world. It looks like I'm ready to make up. some money. White gold, as we say. Hey, Amen, yeah. dude. Thanks for the time, Thank bro. Thank you. Appreciate right, it. Appreciate it. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Big shout out and thanks again to Jake Meisner. If you guys enjoyed it, shoot it a big thumbs up and say thank you to Jake. If you guys like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little button right there. And if you enjoyed these plow videos, like I said, check out these other ones. I think you'll really enjoy them. Thanks again for watching. Brian Brian's All Maintenance. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one.